The Formax Flashcard XL Setup and Operation. Thank you for purchasing the Flashcard XL Business Card Cutter. Prior to installation, be sure you have all the components included. The Flashcard XL Cutter, Catch Tray, Catch Tray Magnetic Guide, Catch Tray Extender, Waste Bin, Power Cord, and Operator's Manual. The Flashcard XL comes with a removable 3.5-inch business card cutting cassette already installed. Optional 7-inch and 11-inch cassettes are available separately for producing larger card sizes. An optional cabinet is available for purchase with the Flashcard XL. The cabinet includes a large waste bin and metal deflector plate. Setting up the Flashcard XL. Begin by placing the Flashcard XL on a sturdy level surface and insert the waste bin. If you purchase the optional cabinet, carefully place the Flashcard XL onto the cabinet, making sure that the machine is placed over the catch hole of the cabinet and that the feet align properly with the indents on top of the cabinet. Note that the infeed should be on the same side as the cabinet door. Next, remove the waste bin if installed and attach the metal deflector plate. Remove the two screws above the opening and then mount the deflector plate using the same screws. With the Flashcard XL set in place, flip the in-feed extension tray to the open position. Now, install the standard catch tray on the outfeed side, as shown here. The standard catch tray can be configured different ways based on the size of the cards being cut. In this position, it can accommodate cards up to 3.5 by 2 inches. To change the standard catch tray to match your chosen cut, simply add or subtract the middle divider and move the backstop plate forward or backwards. For longer cut pieces up to 18 inches in length, install the catch tray extender. Start by removing the magnetic guides from the catch tray. Next, flip the extender tray so that the lip is facing upwards. Now, slide the tray extender into the catch tray at an angle, lip side leading, and insert the lip under the mounting pins. Then, lower the tray into position. With the tray firmly in-mounted, attach the magnetic backstop onto the tray so that the cut pieces can fully exit the cutter. Finally, plug in the power cord and switch the power on. With the Flashcard XL set up and ready for operation, it's time to set the in-feed paper guides. Loosen the thumb screws that hold the guides in place and insert a sheet of paper between them. Slide the guides in until there's about a millimeter between the edge of the paper and the side guides. Then, tighten the thumb screws to hold the guides in place. The paper should slide freely between the guides. To load a stack of printed sheets, press down on the feed tray and slide the stack under the feed tires and release the tray when in position. Next, choose one of the pre-programmed jobs on the screen or create and choose a custom job. With the job selected, input the number of pieces needed if a 24-up business card sheet is being cut, 24 pieces equals one sheet. Increase the number of pieces based on the number of sheets. 120 pieces equals five sheets, and so on. When cutting a job with a printed alignment mark, be sure the mark option is selected. If running without a mark, the edge option should be selected. To change the cutting cassette, open the top cover and remove the thumb screws, shown here, which keep the cassette in place. With the screw removed, lift the cassette up and out off of the machine's alignment pins. 
Install the new cassette, making sure it rests on the alignment pins and that the gears are aligned. Then replace the thumb screws to hold it in place and close the top cover. Please refer to the operator manual for further information.